Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. This is a rant and bants video, so there's no tools to fix. I'm fixing this at the moment for a mate. You know Andrew, who was 60, I'm going to um, maybe sell him this. Don't, ben, don't, don't chill, Ben, chill. Anyway, so I thought I'd have a little chat to you good folk. First thing of note, first thing of note is I don't do this very often. But I am so grateful for all my viewers and subscribers. I'm only a tiny little channel. And some, <coughs> some people would say it was fucking microscopic. Anyway, some channels blow up. I've been doing my channel about um, three years now. And some channels, various subjects, kind of blow up within three years and get, I don't know, 100,000 views. Some channels get fucking nowhere. When I started on this YouTube journey um, in lockdown for something to do because I was fucking bored, um, I did my research, I did my research, and I looked on YouTube tutorials. And I said, right, okay, so, and it told you to do, what to do to make your channel grow. And it said, just stick to one subject, one subject, and find something interesting in what you're interested in and really professional videos make sure your videos are professionals not not too long not more than five minutes and don't be offensive don't fuck don't swear don't swear make your video sort of fam family friendly and then your youtube um channel will grow so i've got my list of what i needed to do and <laughs> what why and then i didn't do that i didn't do that why <laughs> Why did I not do that? Um, I've been thinking about this quite a lot, and I think it's my makeup really, and then and, and how I live my life and what I'm interested in. I've always thought of myself as a bit of a creative person, and I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say it, but I'm not an anarchist, but I like to kind of go the path. Um, the, what's the what, hang on what's the word the path that's not well tr trodden is that is that a word i'd like to go sort of if people go to the right i like go to go to the left so <coughs> excuse me so as soon as the youtube um, people told me to do this this and that this this and that i said fuck it i'm gonna go the opposite way not like my videos are too different than other videos obviously i wanted to do um tool repair videos and stuff like that and and uh, I, um and also to sort of review the latest tools. That's I love Makita. I love Makita. But as you as you know, if Makita, this is a Makita, Makita product or a Makita sort of idea that they come up with that I don't like, I will say. So over the three years that I've been doing YouTube, um, I have had um, one company reaching out to me to review a product, and that was Bosch. In my videos about a year ago, I reviewed a very, very expensive Bosch um, breaker, 18 volt breaker, which was an amazing thing. And it was amazing for Bosch, really, because obviously they watched my channel. They reached out to me and said, would you like to review one of our tools? And they and I said, bloody hell, if you watch my channel, um, you could think of it in a way that... Um, I've got no advertisers on my channel. I've tried to do the, the monetization of my channel, but um, the YouTube partner program um, have said no, absolutely no. Because of the swearing and maybe the, I don't think I'm offensive, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm offensive, but I'm always swearing. Now, um, Bosch, obviously they watch my videos and they must have some kind of people in their marketing department who said, well, yeah, he swears a bit, but we're going to go for it anyway. I've reached out to various other power tool companies and to see if I could review their tools. Now, what I've said to them is that I'll, I'm not after freebies. I'll uh, you lend me them, lend me some tools, and I'll I'll post them back. But they look at my videos and see I'm very quite and very opinionated and swearing, and they think it's not a good it's not a good look for my for your brand. I get it. I get it. So. In some regards, the, the way my channel is with the, my opinions and, and the swearing, it doesn't really sort of um, make it easy for a company to sort of think, oh, I'm going to give John's Random Review some tools to review because they're thinking, well, do you know what I mean? That's not going to help my company. And also, 
in regarding the ad YouTubers, YouTube company as a whole putting out adverts at the start of my videos, what fucking advertiser would want to put an advert in front of my vi my videos? I get it. I fucking get it. But I'm conflicted. Other things of note. Other things of note. I'm kind of like, I, I struggle with mental health. Not really bad, but I have bad anxiety sometimes. And, and I think recently I've been a bit sort of, um, sort of pessimistic rather than optimistic. Um, I'm not really a very positive person. Um, so, in some regards, I'm thinking, oh, fucking hell, I wish my fucking YouTube channel would add like thousands of views and people were pa pa patting me on the back all the time and, uh, and that would validate me and uh, people, all these fantastic tool companies would be sending me tools and then my, tool comp my, my YouTube channel would be growing and growing and then the dream is, obviously, for some people is to YouTube channel to grow to like, I don't know, into a couple of hundred thousand um, subscribers and you get advertising and people sending you stuff. The next thing is um, you um, give up your job and then that's, this is my job. <laughs> Jobs are happening with you. This is my job with reviewing tools. But it hasn't gone, it hasn't gone that way, obviously, because of the, the format and the, the way I do my videos. You could say, you could say, fucking hell, you could say, well, the reason your fucking um, YouTube channel's not doing very well, because it's shit. I get it. I get it. People can have opinions like that. Obviously, um, you could say my videos are very amateurish and don't like the swearing and I don't know what, the, don't know what I'm fucking talking about. And then there's always a, like, there's this conflict. People, um, the main majority of my viewers on my channel is uh, Makita people. And power tool people who, who actually like, um, want to know about the latest Makita tools. And, and they like a little bit of bants with it and have a bit of crack. And they like that, get a few smiley faces and whatnot. But my other videos with the, uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> the silly videos. The character videos, which I absolutely love. The, the the ones where I'm kind of trying to be a funny character and my what I call is my creative videos. The creative part of my brain really sparks to life when I'm start thinking about, oh, so I do a Mickey Burroughs video or a Makita Man or a Cone Man. It's like all these fireworks go off in my head. In another part of my head, and know that it's going to have low views because people do, people don't get it and maybe people think maybe John you shouldn't do videos like that you you, you kind of like your character videos are, are like a bit cringeworthy and this bit stupid but I absolutely love them I love the idea of getting a, an idea about a story with one of my characters and then building up in my head about um, like a little script in my head and uh, the dialogue and which way it's gonna go. And I absolutely love it. But them kind of videos, they get low views and they take absolutely fucking ages. And they're very draining on my mental. Mentally, they're very, very draining and I haven't got time. Now, I've, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel, but I'm a full-time plumber and uh, a father. <laughs> And uh, I've got a family life. And also, as you've seen in my videos, I'm a skateboarder as well. Skateboarding has always been my first love. YouTube channel, I do it for a bit of a crack. Sometimes I kind of like dip into it too much and I do loads of videos. And other times I'm trying to actually back out, back away from the YouTube videos. Because I want to concentrate. YouTube videos, it's all sort of online stuff and it, it affects my mental health. What I mean is it's all sort of screen stuff and they hate editing and um, so I want to move away from that and just kind of maybe get back into my skateboarding. But odd times, right, I'll be like seeing the latest Makita tool or I'll buy something. I think I've got to get, I've got to show um, my fans. <laughs> fans? Do I have a YouTube fans? Well, yes and no. I have people, are probably a little core group of people and I love you with all my heart, like regulars, regulars that watch my video. Tim Harrison, I'm talking about you. The guy from Germany, Com, Comrigo, I think. And a few others, a police, and Ben Steele, and who else can I? Oh, there's loads, there's loads. Um, and um, 
so yeah they, they keep me going and then you'll i'll be like feeling a bit low and a bit down and i'll get a message from some dude from bloody china or australia saying oh great video dude and i'm like oh i'm so stoked um so the guys who watch the videos or gals guys or gals who watch the videos and do thumbs up or send me a little comment it comments make me want to do more videos and actually fucking tell the truth <coughs> i think it's funny odd time odd time i get um a little comment saying you're a dickhead and fucking hell what are you doing and i love it i love it i just like the little conflict i think fair play do you know what I mean? Get your opinions out there. If I got loads of um, sort of comments saying it was really, really crap, it would probably affect me mentally, maybe. And I would be probably on a bit of a downer because I'm only fucking human. I'm only fucking human. So um, big thanks to all my... Think about this. Think about this um, sort of like in a real sense. I've been doing YouTube videos for three years and I've managed to get 2,000 subscribers. Now, to some people, you think, oh, that's nothing. That's like... A grain of sand but I still get a, uh, like a subscriber every day and think about that someone is sort of subscribed to media ev every day and I can't believe this I get 30,000 views um, a month that's less like incredible to me and my big goal on my channel is to carry on doing the same old shit but try and sort of Keep it under control. I don't want to do too much. And I do, fucking hell, I do want to do more professional videos, but I'm a fucking busy man. So anyway, it'll be the same old shit, um, but I want to get to a million views. So get watching my videos. I fucking can't believe it. I'm so stoked. My video, my view count on all my videos is 850,000 views on my channel. Um, so it's incredible. So I think in a... If it's gonna go, if it's not gonna die a death, and in beginning of next year, oh my god, I'm gonna have a little cry. I'm gonna have a million views on my channel, <laughs> fucking million views. And if I make subs keep on um, sort of creeping up a little bit, and I get some comments occasionally, and people, you know, people sort of like stoked my little. Co I've got a little core. I've got a little core audience. I think mainly about fifty people a week. Who? Oh, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, they have to put up with me other daft videos, mainly they watch the um the tool ones. And there's loads of there's loads of tool ones coming up. Bloody hell. I've got old Makita tools I'm gonna review. I've got tool repairs, I've got these weird and wacky uh, like old tools, old new stock tools that I've kind of picked up on, on um eBay that I've got to review. I've got tons of dozens of videos coming up with all sorts of it well i think it's interesting i've got tool strip downs and all sorts of stuff so it's kind of like yeah i've got loads going on now other big news other big news in a week in a week's time um me and my missus are going to canada going to canada for a month so there might be a bit of a dip all these people all the john's random review fans you might have, have to just chill because there won't be that many. There might be a couple or two or three um, videos from Canada. I'll be in. I'll be on Vancouver Island for a week, and then I'll be up in actually Alaska, Anchorage, and then I'll be way, way north, a thousand miles north of um, Anchorage in Bear Country, in Canada, for a, um, a week. And I might do a few videos, might not, don't know. I want to be present. I want to really enjoy me. This is me and my missus is sort of like special sort of um, trip of a lifetime. So I'll be up there. And um, this is from next Friday. And then at the end of the holiday, I go to me and my missus go to San Diego for a week. And hopefully I'll be able to get some clips and filming at Tony Hawk's private skateboard ramp. So that will be awesome. So it's not stopping John's, John's random reviews. Um, but I'm trying to chill on it. I, I, love, I have a love-hate relationship, to be honest with you. Some days I fucking hate it. And other days I love it. So, um, another quick rant. Oh, no, hang on. I was going to do a bit of a rant about them American videos that, um, that, that kind of judge a drill or a tool by its maximum output. You've seen them. You'll, be, you'll have five different drills um, tested against each other, other. And they're all quite close. And the one... That, that wins that's the winner and they're not thinking about anything else it's all it's all it's all a bit fucking stupid to me but i'm going to do another video about that at a later date so anyway glad you've oh not glad you've probably switched off 
fucking 10 minutes ago. But anyway, all the people who stayed with me, all my core audience, who quite like listening to me have a bit of a waffle. I am fucking quite... You know what I mean? I don't fucking bullshit. I try not to bullshit and um, I love you all and you get fucking the real deal from me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm just going to carry on the fucking same old shit. So, <coughs> what do we say? Okay, remember, let's join together and let's do it together. Okay, on the count of three. Random is rad. Rock on. And thanks so much. Okay, see you next time.